Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Today we're going to take a look at how I made these awesome grips, uh, transparent grips or translucent grips for the Blade Runner pistol that uh, I bought over at the, or the plants for, or the files for I should say, <laughs> over at Punish Props Academy, my Bill Duran. So I went ahead and used the Moldstar 30 uh, for the actual mold itself, and this is from Smooth On. Some glue guns, some foam core pieces that I thought I cut, but I didn't, and the actual 3D printed pieces. Now I printed these at uh, sort of a 0.1 layer slow to get as much detail as I could. I sanded them, and then I used a fine primer. I then hot glued them down so that the um, silicone wouldn't sort of ooze underneath it. It did a little bit, and that's going to happen. And you can see some of the mistakes I'm making if you've done this before. Again, this was the first time I did this. Those are a little close together. That ended up being okay, but here's where it wasn't. I was putting the, uh, or I put the foam core pieces way too close to the object in some places, which left things kind of thin, and we'll see how that works out later. And of course, uh, I did not cut these very well, and or maybe I didn't at all. So let's not watch that, because it's uh, a lot of me trying to make this thing work. <laughs> then we went ahead and put some gloves on. Again, there's no we, it's really only me. Those are my hands. So I went ahead and mixed this stuff up and stirred it. Again, this is the Mold Star 30 silicone from Smooth On. This is not a sponsored post, although uh, I would take some if Smooth On wanted to send me this stuff because it's awesome and I want to do this more. <laughs> There's just a little plastic container from Lowe's and I'm mixing it one to one, like it said, and stirring it up. Now I did stir it longer. This is uh, sort of just cut down for time. And here we go. I don't have one of those sort of vacuum chambers. I'm working on sort of piecing the parts together for that. So I'm doing what Bill suggested, which is raise the silicon up high. So when it's pouring down, uh, it's a thin ribbon. And therefore, you're getting the air out uh, and the bubbles out, hopefully. And I think it did a pretty good job. And next morning, I had a cup of coffee, waited the 24 hours. And then I'm going to go ahead and take all this foam core off. Now... You might notice there's some extra pieces of foam core here and there, and maybe a lot more glue. It's because I had some leaks. So build your walls better. I did that a little too slapdash. Now, this actually took quite a while. Um, again, it, there was the glue going on. It was sticking to things. And see, there's the big mistake. That uh, wall was way too close, so that silicone is really thin, and it tore. So I realized, oh, I better stop doing that. And I grabbed an X-Acto knife and I cut it away so that it, I wouldn't sort of make a hole there and hopefully be able to fix this. And um, I did. So that really was like, whew, because it looked so cool when that came out like that. It's the first mold I made. It was, I was so excited. Then I went ahead and used the Smooth On Color Cast or Smooth On Cast 325, which is translucent and some of the so strong uh, urethane. Uh, dies. Now, I've never done this before. I keep saying that, but I, I haven't. So I'm just mixing together on a white board here and sort of sort of smoothing it out to see if the color looks kind of orangish. And I thought it did. And it ended up actually working. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this one to one. Now, what I probably should have done, and I know uh, some people, especially Bill, recommend is mix um, these, you know, pour it in two different cups and mix the color in to one and then the other. I didn't. So as of now, this is sort of starting to harden, right? So I get my little uh, tongue depressor thing uh, or popsicle stick and <laughs> mix in the color and I was really happy with it. Then I realized, oh, I forgot to spray in the mold release. So all this time, this stuff's hardening. Again, I lucked out, but you should probably do this first. And here we go. We're just going to pour this in now. And you can see I've got a little piece of uh, plastic there that I'm going to, I ended up uh, rubber banding on to hold in there. And now I'm just pouring it in slowly, but sort of quickly, because I can almost see that it's hardening in the cup and it's feeling warm. And here we go. And I was just, I could not believe this was working. I was so happy. I've made some other molds. You'll see videos in the future. Uh, it was a blast. And here we go. The next day, I let it go uh, through the night, and 
it worked out fantastic. I mean, yes, there's a few little marks here and there from the 3D printing that I, I didn't sand down well enough, but um, I tell you what, I don't care. I was super psyched that here I printed this thing, I, I made this mold, I poured this other liquid in it, and then the next day they were like things <laughs> that you could hold. It was so exciting. Um, again, I can't, uh, I, I made a few other little ones and I can't wait to make some maybe bigger ones in the future. Uh, smooth on, you hear that? Yes, very happy. <laughs> there we go. And here it is again. Uh, again, super happy with this model, super happy with doing the molds. Uh, if you like this video, check out my others. Hit like, check out the links below for all the stuff that I used. And again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.